Oh, this looks like the leader. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to beautiful desolation. I'm your man here today, ladies and gentlemen. We need to find our brother. So last time we started this awesome adventure. Now just so you know, I made a few mistakes last time. I kind of made the video that it looks like a rowing playing game. I should have actually pointed out that this is a point and click adventure game, not a rowing playing game. I mean, technically speaking, you do role play a... Uh, a, a person <laughs> okay that that actually sounded a lot better in my in my head but still you get the idea right so we've started the previous adventure uh in previous episode we started the adventure uh we've i think we've went either in the future or we went into a different reality i'm not exactly sure where exactly are we i know one thing for sure everything is fucked up completely apparently the gigantic puzzle box in the sky is not the thing that the people think it is and now we need to find a brother who got lost uh, because he got ejected while the transport was, was crash landing so that's like a thing we spoke with the i i don't know what that thing was let's call how much sentry for now on so the sentry boy he shot down this thing and he told us that if you want to find our brother we need to go back to the crash site pick up the something from here and then try to look for him uh multiple systems not responding avionetic system not implemented okay Override required. Agnate override. All right. So let's see. Do I can use something over here? Cable. Oh, connection cable. That's nice. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna go and use this thing, uh -uh. a gate override is required. How the heck I'm supposed to get that thing done? I need another item over here. I think because I don't have an add gate anymore. So I'm not exactly sure what I need. Okay, let's try to go south because I think I saw uh, a passage to the south last time. So we could try to go this way. Yeah, see? There's like a uh, indication that there's an next area over here. So we're gonna go over there and I'm gonna try to look for an item necessary to pick up the thingy from the crash site. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Nature is a panty taking over humanity. <laughs> uh, did we lose the fight with nature? Damn it, nature. You're scary. Okay, what the heck is this? Codex, update. Alright, we got something. What the fuck is this thing? Animal remains. <laughs> An old carcase has become a cradle of the new life of for shrubs, insects, birds, and small rodents. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, I see the size of that thing. And you know what? I kinda hope I won't see the alive one. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, where exactly need to go? Right, let's stick to the edge of the map. Hopefully nothing is gonna try to bite my face off. And we need to find an Aegis so I can actually override the security system. Ah, uh, the crash it. Uh, crash it, crash it, v Vito landing thingy, whatever. You get the idea, right? Should be somewhere over here, I think. I mean, there has to be a reason for this sector to, to exist. So you just need to find something that actually could become useful. Speaking of the devil... Right, and a workshop... Wait, what? Workshop? It's well-equipped mechanic workshop housing tools and salvaging scraps from the surrounding wreckage. Okay, interesting. Is this a different... Wait, what the heck? This thing is working? I have no idea what this thing is, and what the heck is this? Okay, try to use it. Add component to buffalo. Add component to buffalo. Okay, so I can add something to the flying thingy. And apparently it's gonna work? Okay, good to know. <laughs> There's actually more questions right now than solutions to this quest. Also, I would like to really point out uh, quickly one thing. Because uh, the developers have made an official message. To players because apparently a lot of people are actually pirating the game um the developers stated that it's well okay they understand that's a normal thinking in game development right that the piracy would exist but they highly recommend or ask the people to at least try to buy the soundtrack now i'm gonna be honest with you so far i am enjoying this game a lot if you're enjoying it as well there's a link in the description below to the steam page go over there buy the game buy the game maybe for a friend buy the soundtrack support the developers because with the money from that thing they can actually try to develop more games they can actually try to make something new they can try to make even maybe an expansion to this game and so on and so forth game development needs money like everything right and only because you can get it for free from from the internet does not not mean you should not pay for it okay 
Sure, there are some people that actually buy, uh, I, I mean, download pirate games. Let's say they play a little bit. And by that, I mean a week or two weeks. Or sometimes they even finish the game and then they buy it at full price as well. Only to, to support the development, right? The developers as well. So consider that, all right? Because if you want to see you have some games in the future and you're tired of the bullshit that EA is dropping around, or Activision, or Blizzard, <coughs> you have phones, right? Then, you know, you may actually try to consider supporting the smaller teams as well. Just, just saying, boys. And another wreckage. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just shipwrecked. Skeleton of a large ship cracks softly on the ocean breeze. Hello? Is anyone here? Please don't kill me. I hear something. You know what? I'm gonna go to the opposite side of the sounds. <laughs> and I'm gonna go <laughs> this way, maybe. <laughs> a lot of insects. I bloody ass hate worms. Uh, rusted vehicles. Bushes piled with cascades of old cars and trucks. Yeah, they kinda look European. Oh, wait. Hello. What the fuck? Wait, that's the that's the dog from the... <laughs> that's, that's the dog from <laughs> the previous episode. The one that have been captive along with us. What the hell did you do? I, are you blaming me for this? This was certainly none of my doing. <laughs> Listen here, toaster. We got to work together. I didn't cause a crash. We need to find a way out of here. Yeah, let's let's go with the first one. Listen here, toaster. You're the only thing I know around here that isn't trying to kill me. We must work together. Work together with a terrorist like yourself? Never. I'm not a terrorist. I'm a journalist. I was trying to expose whatever the hell they were doing on the Penrose. I know you're probably a bit shaken up, but we need to find a way out of here. I am not shaken up. I am attempting to initiate contact with Control, and until Control is updated with our current SIDREP, I am not leaving. Uh-huh. We have a better chance of surviving together. Fine, stay here and rust. Your best bet is to come with me. We have a better chance of surviving this if we work together. All right, I will join you. But I will not be treated as a pet nor as a tool. I will accompany you until I can make contact with Control. And when we get back, you will be placed under arrest for trespassing on an active military base. Yeah, good luck with that thing. If you get back and you still feel that way, I'll go quietly. Don't fucking threaten me, Tin Can. <laughs> Don't fucking threaten me, Tin Can. Remember. You just one switch away from being a lawn ornament. We'll see about that, civilian. <laughs> and this is a story of a beautiful friendship. All right, I think this is an agate, right? Well, apparently the game is telling me that this is an agate. So I think now we have to go back to the crashed thingy and she will be able to do something with that thing. Okay, hold on a second. Is that like a map or something? Lucidio, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, I don't think so. Right, so let's go all the way back. Records of these shipwrecks. Yeah, because this is not Earth any longer, I think, you know? But I just want to point out anyway that the game looks awesome. It's really, really looking great. I mean, honestly... Oh, what the fuck? There's something flying over there. <laughs> it's terrifying! <laughs> if I would not, not know better, I would say this is Baldur's Gate... Baldur's Gate 3. What the fuck is happening? Okay, whatever. And speaking of Baldur's Gate, I hope you guys are ready for Baldur's Gate 3. What the heck you're doing? You serious? You taking a grass bath? Okay, get over here. I need your help. You coming? Why she is not coming? Okay, maybe I have to use it and she's just gonna come over here. Nope. Okay, why the heck the stupid ass can is not following me? What? Oh, there you are. Okay, talk with you. I've got a frequency. It's not control, but it is something. This troop transport has its own sentience. It is. Dying. I do not know what to do for it. Or what to say to it. Just shut it down. I don't know how to help either. It's got something we need. Hold it to shut itself down. It's got something we need. I can't. It's scared. Panicking. It's broken. Split in two. It is slowly fading away. Hello. I'm here. You're not alone. Not alone. <laughs> okay. Can't you make a backup? Can't it just... I don't know, back itself up. It's gone. It's just... gone. I'm sorry. At least it heard some kind words in its final moments. I know this is hard, but I need access to its diagnostics. 
I suppose it is what must be done. By the way, I'm Prototype Zero Zero Combat Helper. You can call me Pooch. Mark. Mark Leslie. Pooch! Oh, that's so cute. Uh, okay, some point the spirit of the machine have died. Ouch. Ah, okay, ejection uh, data bus. Okay, I got this thing, and this one is necessary to save our brother. Okay, so now let's go back and talk with the Terminator and see what he is about to say to us, because he gave us the info that we should try to get that thing. So I hope he knows what the fuck I'm supposed to do now. Oh, Mr. Civilian, don't fall in. I can't swim. Yeah, don't play in the grass, all right? I'm not going to clean you later on. Uh, I can't really speak with you. Okay. Right, so there was another transporter in the previous section. I think I have to go there now and maybe use the item that I have. And that thing will allow me to fly around. I hope. Right, Mr. Workshop Boy. That's a Buffalo Troop transport. Okay, so you know what this thing is. You just think. Okay, Inertial Network Avionautic Data Bus. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, remove it. Ah, alright, so we need also a neural network. And this thing is apparently will work for us. Right, so where the fuck am I supposed to get the last part? <laughs> That's a serious question, I don't know. What the fuck is that thing? I don't know, but I think I hear a Geiger counter and I don't think I want to be over here. <laughs> you know, I actually prefer not to glow at night. Just saying. Uh, right, this this path over here is nice, but I still don't have the thing that I need. The other part of the buffalo transport thingy that will, that will allow me to leave this place. Where in the seven fox I'm supposed to get that thing? That ain't good, boy. That really ain't good. Oh, wait, now I can talk with this guy. Okay, interesting. I don't know why I could not talk with him before. I had to leave the sector and then come back. Hello. I installed the avionics data bus. I just need that neural net. Ah, I see that you have found your companion. It is good, good that she survived as well. Once you have found your brother, what do you plan to do? That's a good question. There has to be a way back. I find someone to help us. If he's dead, we'll be back for you. If Don is dead, I will be back for you. That higher, that will indeed help you find your way back to me. That fire will burn its way across this world. And it will burn away the strings that hold the Penrose in this place and time. Something is holding the Penrose here? Something is holding the Penrose here? What do you mean? Yes, it is bound up, tied down, angry, angry, clawing at the confines of its cage. Even if the portal between them and now was open this minute, the Penrose would still be bound to this place. The Ascendancy, the Tribulationists, they have it trapped. They worship it, yet they fear that it will leave them. To open the portal, you will need to repair the array that pulled the Penrose into your web. And release the spinning crimson anchors at Babel that hold the Penrose trapped to our web. <laughs> Not with this... <laughs> Not with all of this cack. Anchors? The array? Tell me more about these anchors. Once the array is switched on and the portal is open, the anchors must be disrupted. I do not know how this can be done, but with the array activated and the well open, the temple will be in chaos. Chaos. What is the array? The three arms of the array are bound together through time. They exist at the start of the string, and now here at its end. So the array existed back in my time? Yes, but over the centuries, the three arms have been torn apart. They require a power source of red mercury, a tele-device that lets them communicate with the past, and a slingshot to rip open time and space. Where can I find all these things? 
This puppet managed to track the Red Mercury to an agnet named Grave, who runs an outpost called the Kettle. The other items? You will have to seek those out for yourself. Now go, my child, go. Overriding safety protocols. Ejecting neural net. I think I have killed it by mistake. Yeah, that looks like a heart. I think by mistake I've killed it. I'm almost certain that by mistake I've killed it. Well, shit, I was not expecting that I can kill something by mistake. Crap! <laughs> so now I just have to go back to the lander. Uh, insert the item over here. Okay, put you. I say put you. Yay, the lander is working! I hope. Uh, you know that you need to be on board. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless to activate that thing, you know? It's awesome, though. Did it work? <laughs> Repairs complete. Buffalo modification. I am not doing anything, and I don't know where my guy is going. I haven't clicked anything. He's just right. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. So, what the heck is this? Let's yo. Buffalo. I've integrated the Buffalo's voice commands into the radio. We will also be able to use the autopilot, thanks to the new avionics bus. Thanks, Pouch. I wouldn't figure that out. Don't, don't mess with those things. Thanks, Pooch. I don't think I could have done that myself. Oh, you're making a friend, though. Pooch will remember that. Hey! Can I fly on my own? I can! <laughs> Do I have fuel or something? I don't think so. Buffalo console. Nice! Okay. Ah, so we are over here. Right, morgue bush. Vesta, view map. Okay, I can apparently discover those things. Ah, so I can land in those previous locations as well. That's nice. Okay, some highway. Yeah, this used to be a city. This definitely, definitely used to be a city. Wow, this is actually cool. <laughs> what the fuck? What the shit is that thing? Okay, I don't think... Okay, okay, do I want to go actually then? Yeah, sure, let's investigate. Yeah, what's possibly the worst thing that could happen? More than access device required. Okay. So I know one thing, I cannot go there. Uh, RI site, Agnet Outpost. I think we have to go over there. Okay, land. Gently, please. Meter transponder required. Okay, I cannot go there either. Uh, warden? Okay, now that's the warden. Uh, RI site 2? Or... Whiteberg? Well, there's not too many options around, so eventually I'm gonna find the one I need to access. I can access this one. Sweet! Hello? Lost the tag date. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Looks kind of similar to the one I have just left. I get shows correlates in the elements. Yeah, that's nice. Let's try to stay away from it. Is that a fucking... Yeah, that's a gigantic Terminator thingy. Good to know. Alright, can... Uh... Old fort wall. Few sections of the fortified wall still stand tall. That's a buffalo thingy. Okay, is there like remotely anything I could try to do over here? Okay, let's take a, try to take a look around. Maybe this is just, you know, a wrong place to be. Another terminator over here. Agnet shell. Alright, I don't think I can do anything with those, so just for now. Oh, wait. Found something. Hug and Agnate. What the heck is this? I think yeah, me too. I connect to it. Red Mercury. If you... Ah, okay. So apparently this is the end game stuff. Right. Give me some strange signals, you don't say. Codex updated. Okay, I won't probably take care of this thing right now. Crucify Agnate. 
The fuck is this? I have select item from the inventory. Can I use this thing? Nope. So I can plan to use something here, but I don't have the right items right now. I'm starting to think that this is a really, really bad location to be. Fallen fort wall. I guess there used to be double layer walls over here. Some heavy fortifications we have to admit. Another wall? What the fuck is this place? Cases? Okay, definitely we cannot do anything over here. Right, Caldi radio. This looks Crash at military. <laughs> Chopper. Maybe it's this too. The same one we have traveled <laughs> to the Penrose <laughs> before everything went to shit. Broken wall. Okay, nothing I can do over here. Get the buffalo. And let's try to fly to the other area. So apparently, if we're gonna fly to the far north... Yeah, we landed! And on the cinematic. I'm not sure the size of this settlement. It kinda looks huge. I'm surprised that this transport is never landing. Never mind, it's landing. Yay! So this was the place I was supposed to go. Okay. Alright. So now what? Oh great, we can actually talk with somebody. Uh, okay, let's see what this thing is. Some sort of diagram. Okay, gonna take it. Talk. Who the fuck are you? Yo, Bridgen, what go on? It's a nice machine. Buffalo troop transport, eh? With all four engines working? I uh, do. Yeah. Yeah. Buffalo transport. I can see you replace the old Boston diesel engines. Smart. Are you supposed to be a Jamaican? <laughs> what a shithole. It's beautiful here. Ah, oh, this place is beautiful. Hot, but beautiful. <laughs> Friend, no need to cover your words with sugar. With a bird, no nothing for right to home about. So how you find your way to this little slice of heaven? With a buffalo, you must see I come from the warden. Uh, maybe? I'm looking for the crash of Okay, let, let's just roll with it. Yeah, I'm coming for the warden. Yeah. I'm looking for a place where a satellite crashed. Any ideas? And where you want to know about that for? I'm looking for my brother. He's lost, but I managed to contact him and he described a buried satellite before his radio died. Just happens I know where that is. But if you're going that way, my friend, I'll be needing something. There's a crash space satellite close to the warden. I need something from there. Maybe you could refresh my memory. Who or what is a warden? <laughs> well, I'm always happy to make a new friend, even when them look slow. Warden, big spinning gateway out past the city ruins. Let's you travel far to the other place safely through the ether. The ether? My friend, you're more than a little slow today. Ether, radiation. Oh, you survive so long not knowing how to avoid the rainbow gas. You need the warden access device in order to get through. I can install a spear for you. For your price. Alright, <laughs> so this is going somewhere. Uh, only thing I have is an ad gate dock. No, I don't have the money. Ah, sorry, I don't have money, but... Uh... Maybe we could work something out. What about the dog? Spear Agnite parts pretty rear own here. No, uh, no. No, no way. I would never trade her. Easy dear friend. Jerry could never take a man's dog. But, eh, there's something I need more than Agnite spears. At the buried satellite close to the warden, I want the Alexis computer core. I even added to your map there. Bring me the core, and I'll upgrade your buffalo real nice with a one access device. See you soon, friend. That was quick. Right, okay. At least I know something. Is there anything else we could try to get over here? Hello, Mr. Guard. The guards are towering figures. Their limbs embrace with robotic prosthetics. I would want I wouldn't want to mess with those buggers. I I I Why? It's really Abbey, it's really friendly here and stuff. Hey, nice! It's a bloody ass in! Sweet design, bro. Okay, let's talk with this guy. You have the look of a man seeking truth. Have a seat and tell Bra Bones what ails you. What the 
fuck out of you. I don't know about trying to find truth, but I am trying to find my brother. Ah, brothers, <laughs> what a blessing they are, to be sure. If you have nothing in life but a loving brother, you are most rich. Last time I spoke to him, he said he was close to a buried satellite. Oh, um, Jarek the mechanic knows where a satellite sits, overtaken by nature, being slowly dragged beneath the ground. But there are two halves of that hole, just like brothers, yeah? <laughs> There's also a buried satellite to the north. My other half, my brother, is at the kettle. He's serving grave. I fear I took from him what can never be returned. I'm sorry to hear that. Being a brother can be tough. That is true, Traveller. That is true indeed. Thank you for sharing these moments with me. If I may, let me leave you with a trinket that has brought me luck. A map of the world to guide you on your journey. <clears throat> now, if you don't mind, I must get back to my other paying customers. May the Wanderer guide you, the Warrior protect you, and the Spirit of Inja follow you. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> that was quick. I got myself a map. Right. Copper tank. Fireplace. Skull. Okay. Oh, it's already stifling in here. Yeah. Battles. Wooden battles. Rest in an occupied corner. There is a faint aroma of, of a ripe fruit. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the sanctuary, I guess. Potter up here. Okay, this balance. None. Oh, this looks like the leader, sleeping woman. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here. Ah, a fresh face with virgin eyes falls upon me. You have strong arms, a strong back, and all your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will make a fine addition. Have you come to join in my family? To be a concubine to the mistress of Witherberg. Hmm. I think I'll fuck no. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, mistress, but I'm not here for that. No, oh, a pity. To be in the harem of Mina of Witherberg, witness of the tribulation and servant of the ascendancy, is to be a blessed spirit. But if you're not here as a suitor, are you here for an offering of gold? I am sometimes forced to remind newcomers that any treasures they possess belong to us and to Darus. But we are not mongrel savages. We will gladly compensate you with a few credits for your trouble. And with those credits, we also offer wares to help you on your way. Okay? Good to know! Need information? Okay, let's try it. I don't have time for this rubbish. I'm just here to trade. Such a tempestuous creature. Very well, my sweet. Kid shielding. Reticle shielding. First aid kit. I wonder why the fuck I need those things. Okay, I'm gonna keep in mind that this guy actually over here can trade. Credit balance, zero. Make gold offerings. Ah, I don't have gold. Okay, so few more locations have been unlocked. Crash it lap. Is this the place I need to go to? I have no idea. Maybe? Rock face, okay. And rock face is, I'm guessing, next to the warden, right? Yeah, looks like it. So we have to find an item. Yeah, so there's the warden and there's the rock face. So we have to go over here to this to grab an item for the mechanic and then I could try to go I think to the crushed lap and try to find something useful over there. Hi the boys! Right, so what exactly we need to do over here? Okay, let's follow the dog. <laughs> Just don't mess in the grass, alright? I think I'm hitting radiation, not a big fan of that. Alright, I like, I love this nature, man. It feels like home. Nature, undestroyed by... Industrial poisoning. Whatever I think. This read here for a while. This read Sass, I think. Airlock. Okay, we need to get something over here. Yeah, I this thing is blocked. I cannot do anything with this thing. Hatch looks like Rosset and Rick. Okay. 
Mountains. Right, but what the fuck I need to look here for? Okay, he said something about radiation and rainbow colors, so I'm guessing this is an actual radiation. <laughs> Great! Oh, I'm gonna glow in the darkness, aren't I? Ah. Looks like an old diagram of some kind. Just print it, add it to the codex, I don't fucking care. I'm looking for a way to access. I don't like it in here, Mark. Yeah, well, how about you gonna help me? Because we need to find a way to open that thing so I can get myself an item, so we can speak with the... There you go. Gold nugget. Okay, we got gold. That's not exactly the thing I was looking for, but thank you anyway. Seen and what that thing at the crash site told us. The Penrose must have, I don't know, flung us into the future. Don't you have scanners and stuff to tell us where we are or when? I'm not that kind of agnate. I think I had long distance scanners once, but they were removed. Okay, so they purposely made you less useful. You think, but you don't know. So they just took pieces from you? So they just took pieces from you? It sounds invasive. It is why I was built. It is why I live. They were not trying to harm me. I am a military prototype. Much of my life has been spent under construction. They tried many different iterations and experiments. Restarted me, reset my memory, took away, removed many parts. When the information they got from me became unreliable, they stopped for a while. It must be nice to just raise bad memories. Oh. I'm sorry you went through that. You are? Yeah, of course I am. It must have been awful. They formatted me too many times. Each time, they left a little bit behind. Residual emotional programming would interfere with each new iteration. It became impossible to tell which data was intentional and which was incidental. I can still feel them working on me. Human hands inside me. So no, no scanners. Nothing that could help us determine where we are. But I have my uses. I can perform medical checks. I can detect radio signals. I can detect static charge. That could come in handy. Those things could come in handy. Any advantage is better than nothing. Thank you, civilian. I'm here to help. Oh, that's cute. I don't know why she started talking to me, only because I've entered the buffalo again. Okay, whatever. Right, let's try to go to Crashed Lab. Maybe I actually think I'm looking for some type of a keys in the Crashed Lab. Good news, I could land on the Crashed Lab without much of a problem. Done. Wait, what? We found him? Where? Talk to Pooch. Terminal is actually still active. Oh my god! What is him? Okay, let's talk to Pooch. This man is badly injured. Broken leg, at least three cracked ribs, compressed spine. But he is breathing. No internal bleeding, but we must stabilize him before we move him. Tough for a human, though. Must have been a hell of a journey down. Just is what I fucking need. It's pretty tough. I didn't think you'd be able to diagnose injuries. I am trained for field operations. Looking after my squad is one of my primary functions. You think you're a soldier? I am a soldier. I am an agnate neural mapping prototype. The first agnates were radio controlled automatons, but they did not do well in active situations. Then they made the neural maps. Agnates that could adapt to anything. My model was programmed to bond with humans. Fear of our squad's death was built in by design. It never quite worked on me, but I retained all the training. You're afraid of the prototype? Why added the motion to Agnes? Why didn't it work on you? Unknown. They tried and tried. Perhaps I am simply not built to bond with humans. Why program emotions into Agnes? Emotions can assist with creative thinking. Fear of death can be a motivating force to push past all limits. They also believed it would improve camaraderie between Agnates and humans. Who are they, exactly? Penrose Allied. Have you had much contact with other Agnates? No, I haven't. I stayed out of most of the big tech leaps. Why? It seems like Agnate technology was everywhere in a matter of years. We're just gonna ignore the fact that he's dying over there? <laughs> I just don't want too much uh, to freak me out. They just took with the ward. Those scientists went too far too fast. Agnates freaked the fucking hell out of me. Look around us. If it wasn't for people meddling in artificial intelligence, none of this would have happened. I wish I could unplug the whole lot of them. If you are quite finished waxing lyrical about the Agnate Scourge, let's get back to helping your brother. I knew that would piss her off. <laughs> Hi Don, how are you? <laughs> Chilling? <laughs> okay, let me guess, so we probably need to get 
the medkit from the trader, and that's why I have the gold nugget, right? And also there's a the decor. Uh, enable? Enable at a remote location. Just a simulation. Uh oh. I think I was not supposed to press that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so let's put gold offering into this. Okay, gold nugget. Right, credit balance too. So can I now buy the stupid ass thing? Hello, I want to trade with you. Dormammu! Ah, okay. oh, my sweet. Let's see what you got. I came to bargain. Uh, first aid kit. Credits? One. Okay, buy first mate. Broken bones, collapsed at lungs, medical treatment, yada yada. Buy it. Heat shield, electrical shield. Your credits one, credits three. Okay, so I cannot buy either of those. Good to know! Don, don't die on me now, boy! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Right? Okay, there he is. Okay, use the medkit on him. No, I'm trying to... Uh -uh. What? what do you mean, uh-uh? Uh-uh. What do you mean, uh-uh? Hold on a fucking second. Do I have the medkit with me? I'm trying to... There you go. Phew! Marky, you found me. I was worried for a second there. Kept blacking out. I thought I heard you and the dog, but I wasn't sure. Just don't slow us down. How do you feel? How do you feel? You know, I'm not quite sure what half of those drugs actually do. I feel great, actually. Even the old gut feels like it's cleared up. So where the hell are we? Not where. When. We're still in South Africa. But I think we traveled in time. That's not possible, bro. That shit's for science fiction stories. Uh-huh. You really sure about that? It's true, Don. Everything we thought we knew has changed. So everyone we knew, they all gone. Dead. How? How the hell did that thing make us travel in time? Are we stuck here? Can we get back? I don't have all the answers. We can. Yes, Don, we can. I met a sort of, well, a thing that told me how to get back. We can open up a portal back home. We just need three things to do it. And then we'll be on our way back to our time. You know where these things are? <laughs> Just follow my lead. No, but we'll find them together. No, but we will find them together. All three of us. I got your back, Mark. Let's do this. Oh, he was easy to convince. Right. So I wonder what the fat ass can do. Well, he's going to be piloting the ship. That's for sure. Can I do something with this thing now? Enable to remote location. Well, that does not exactly work. Righty. I wonder what exactly I need to do. Okay, I'm gonna try to maybe look around over here. Maybe there's some other items I have to find useful, like let's say another gold nugget that I could try to trade and buy the other items. I think, right? I don't know. We're gonna see. But the thing is that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm running solely and steady of record time. So for now, I think I'm gonna leave this over here. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below. As always, go ahead, give it a try. Let me know how it went. And if you have found something useful, feel free to share that thing in the comment section below. Because for now. I'm gonna leave this thing over here. We're gonna, of course, try to continue the story next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please, absolutely. And see you all in the next video.